What's going on, TRN TV subscribers? You've got Jason here. Thanks so much for joining me for the Wax Pack Flashback. If you are here, I know you're a huge fan of trading cards. And hopefully you've been taking advantage of how much the Wax Pack Flashback has come back in a major, major way. First, Adam. Adam, our third host now for the Wax Pack Flashback. He's releasing videos every Wednesday based on uh, mainly comic book uh, characters and uh, just brands. And we've been doing that, uh, I think, for about three or four weeks now. And he is uh, releasing episodes on Wednesday in conjunction with Wizards, the podcast guide to comics. So uh, a whole lot of Adam every Wednesday, and you get him opening up a pack of trading cards. If you're a VIP, you've been seeing me opening up some special... Uh, like random and weird sets of trading cards that I've come across over the years. I've got two episodes of those up now. So if you're a VIP, you're getting a bonus episode every week. And now I'm so excited to get to these cards. Uh, I, I told you in a previous video, I've been wanting to do a, a new series on music-related cards. So going back to the 80s, these are mainly 80s and 90s uh, trading cards. And uh, just going back, getting into some music roots. I love music. And uh, there's only a couple of these packs that I've opened before. I'm so excited. And we're over the next several weeks. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe release these on Fridays. You're going to see some awesome music cards. And we're going to start things off with the King of Pop, as you've seen in today's uh, description. Michael Jackson trading cards from 1984. And uh, the Tops Company have never opened a pack of these. There are, uh, let's see, three photo cards, three stickers, which I'm excited about, and a piece of bubble gum in there that we will not consume. <laughs> Almost 40 years old now. Whew. Wow, we are a long way from the 80s. So Michael Jackson kicks things off this week. Next time, or next week, I, I think I'm going to go in the order that I tell you, but I don't know, maybe I'll mix it up a little bit. Uh, she is very, very eccentric. Uh, I've never been a, a big fan, but I've appreciated the uh, the pop culture that she has really injected mainly into MTV in that era. Cindy Lauper trading cards. And these are from 85. So never opened a pack of these. I'm not sure if... Uh, and this is the same format. Three glossy cards, three stickers, and one piece of bubble gum. So... Not sure if these are, you know, based on her music videos, which would be pretty cool. Maybe you see some wrestlers in here, or maybe just some photo shoots. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we had the King of Pop. How about just the King? Elvis cards. Yes, from 1993 or 4, I, I want to say. Um, actually, 1992. So... This uh, 12 cards in this pack. I've got a few of these. Maybe we'll open up a couple of these. We'll see. But uh, I'm anxious to dive into those. Never opened any Elvis trading cards before. Uh, up next, how about Pro Set Superstars? Uh, I don't think we've opened these on the Wax Pack Flashback before. I'm not too certain. Maybe Mickey did in Season 1. But uh, I've got a couple packs. Maybe we'll... Uh, uh, open up a couple packs on these and uh, the facts about your favorite rock, pop, and rap stars. I think this was uh, 1991. Yes, early 90s. So we're going to open up some superstar cards. Next up, one of my uh, idols in broadcasting. I've got a background in radio broadcasting and uh, he's been on radio TV mainly uh, over the years. Mr. Dick Clark... Rest in peace. Gosh, it's, it's been a decade. Uh, I think 2012 was when he passed away. American Bandstand cards. Uh, I've got several packs of these. Have not opened up any of these before. So there's eight in a pack. And there's also gold foil and autographs in here. So hopefully in there. We'll see. <laughs> uh, are you into country music? I actually had a country phase in the early 90s. Garth Brooks, uh, Alan Jackson mainly is... I remember uh, getting a, a couple of his CDs, the Greatest Hits. Uh, so I did have a country phase, but uh, it's not really my bag. But we're going to find out uh, what's in these country classics 
cards and uh, see if I can identify any of the artists that are in here, especially if it goes way back, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, not too big, like I said, into the country music scene, but you got some special subsets in these cards, autographs and gold cards. So very excited. Uh, subsets of Hank Williams Jr., Gene Autry, and Roy Acuff. Autograph cards by Alan Jackson, Clint Black, George Jones, and Ronnie Millsap. Man, wouldn't it be cool to pull one of those? All right. I have opened these before. Actually, I believe I have almost a full set. I know I have a full set of just the regular cards, but there are some other uh, special inserts and sticker cards that you can get with these. And I love parody culture. So, like, you know, Garbage Pal Kids... Uh, Mad Magazine, the Wacky Packages, you've seen me open those up on my channel. How about Silly CDs? And these cards look like a, a CD jewel case, in other words. And it's all parodies of the bands of the time. These came out in 2001. <laughs> I love they have a uh, uh, even a parody of the parental advisory. So this is a parody advisory silly content. And right on the cover, you have Instinct. Yeah. So, this is going to be fun. Some puzzles on the back of those. Can't wait to show you those. And these just came today. I waited to launch the series until I got these because I've seen good things. And the pack itself is a hologram. So, I know they've got holograms and some other different subsets in there. Peel and stick art cards. Randomly inserted holograms and legacy series cards. Series 1 featuring the Grateful Dead. Rock cards. These are from 1991. Look, it's... <laughs> the packaging is a freaking hologram, man. Oh, I might save these for last. Uh, build the little anticipation there. But very excited to... Uh, kick off this music series and open more trading cards. The Wax Pack flashback is everywhere right now. So excited to uh, get things kicked off today with Michael Jackson cards. Let's open these babies up. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. I thought I'd uh, leave these out here just so you can get a kind of a closer look at what's going on. Look at that package. Oh my gosh. Cannot, <laughs> cannot wait. Silly CDs, the country classics. American Bandstand, Pro Set, Superstar, Music Cards, Music Cards, Elvis covered up all <laughs> by all the clearance stickers. That's great. And Cindy Lapa. All right, put those to the side for now. Tease, tease, tease. Here we go. Michael Jackson from Tops, and on the back. So it's your traditional wax pack. You've got an advertisement for Ring Pop. It's the most exciting new lollipop idea for fun since the invention of candy. Okay, that's a pretty bold claim there, Ring Pop. But I do like the, uh, <laughs> the little drawings here. So, oh, these are going to be fun, man. These are going to be fun. Oh, look, the gum. Michael... <laughs> So it's individually wrapped. That's I've never seen that before. Wow, it's like a stick of extra. Or, uh, you know, uh, double mint. Or spearmint, you know, back in the day. Oh, that's cool. They got it wrapped up. And they got the pack, the, the, you know, the package itself has pictures of him on there. How freaking cool is that? I'm I'm uh, haven't even looked at the cards yet, and I'm reveling in the gum. <laughs> I was gonna try to open this up, and get a closer look at these kids here, <laughs> enjoying the ring pops. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's uh let's look at these cards. So we got three cards and three stickers. Oh, well, so we're going back early here. It looks like maybe back to the Jackson Five days with these stickers. And you can see they're die cut out. Pretty cool. I like the design. You know, very, very 80s is that design. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> In full costume there. Oh my gosh, that's funny. In front of a roller coaster. I I don't think I've ever seen that movie. But uh the uh maybe the I don't know if the roller coaster's part of that or what. And look at that outfit. Holy crap. I'm assuming those are sequins. So some early uh very early Michael Jackson there. Okay. So here we got him. He's we've got the preppy Michael. Looks like he's ready for school there. Probably the most conservative I've ever seen him dressed. There he is. Michael Jackson's Thriller album held the number one spot on the Billboard charts for 19 consecutive weeks, the longest by any solo performer in 20 years. All right, this one. Well, is he rocking a mustache there? I don't remember him having facial hair very much. Looks kind of weird. And what is this hand over here? Like... <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, odd picture. While maintaining his position with the Jackson 5, Michael established himself as a solo artist with an array of hit singles and albums beginning in 1971. These memorable, tune, memorable tunes include Gotta Be There... Rockin' Robin and Ben, which was nominated for an Oscar. So I like the design of the back. It's not always the same. So this one has got more of a pink background with the sketch. And then this one's all red with the sketch within the border. That's pretty cool. I didn't even look on the back of these. Is there a puzzle? There is a puzzle. Well, well, well. Okay, and the last one. Making sure his hair is in place. For a young artist of 25, Uncle Jackson has packed a lifetime of excitement into a dazzling performance. Performing career, Michael made his promising debut in a hometown in hometown Gary, Indiana as a singer-dancer with his brothers, the Jackson 5 group. Of course. All right, so what am I going to pick as far as a MVP? Hmm. Didn't really get any good picture. I mean, the, the hair pose is probably the, the best out of those three. But uh, I don't know. I just kind of like that first one, too. The, the blue background with the purple, I think that goes well. And stickers. I love stickers, so... Yeah, let's go with that as an MVP for the pack. So there you have it. Michael Jackson cards. Uh, man, I mean, for six cards in a pack, which seems kind of a ripoff to me, because typically we have, you know, 10 or 12 cards in the pack, but three stickers, I mean, that's not uh, ordinary either, getting that many stickers in a pack. But I don't know. I just like that card more than even <laughs> the Wiz. Uh, I think Adam is kind of a, a apologist for the Wiz. Uh, I just don't believe I've ever seen the movie, so I can't really comment one way or the other. Uh, just I've never been into musicals and all that very much. As much as I love music, uh, musicals isn't really my my favorite. I wonder, can I make the gum my MVP? I mean, this is so cool. His own gum with his own wrapper on here. I mean. I've never seen that before, so that was a total surprise. Anyway, now we'll stick with our original MVP. Hope you enjoyed Michael Jackson cards. Cannot wait to get into the rest of these music cards. Um, just so many I've never experienced before, and I haven't really... I've tried to stay away from doing any research on Trading Card Database or any place like that uh, to even look at and see what the cards are. I love it to be a surprise. Hopefully it's... Uh, some of these are will, and will be a surprise to you uh, and watching. So thanks for tuning in. Please like the video. Make sure you are subscribed to TRN TV. So you get all these wax pack openings. You get the thrift store hoard, with the, which I and uh, Adam and Kevin do about once a month, showing off our thrift store finds. Those two shows are mainly what you'll see uh, on TRN TV right now. But 
Uh, tell me in the comments. Tell me uh, about Michael Jackson cards. Have you ever opened those before? Uh, remember them back in the day? That crazy gum with its own wrapper that I've never seen before? Just kind of blew me away. Would love to uh, interact with you in the comments. And of course, like the video. And like I said, subscribe. And check out our Patreon for VIPs. And you can get extra Wax Pack flashbacks over there that are exclusive. Cannot find those right here on YouTube. Uh, those are private for our VIPs only. So check that out. That's all the stuff is in the description below for you to check out and link over to. So until next time when we, I guess we'll probably open Cindy Lauper cards. Uh, cannot wait to open those. Maybe the, she'll have her own gum in there too. And I'll just start collecting gum instead of the trading cards. <laughs> anyway, cannot wait till the next time. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Jason here. We'll see you in our next video for the music series.